What's good, everybody? This is Generation 71, coming back to you with part four of the history of the Nazi zombie storyline. Today, we're actually going to be jumping into Derice, and this is where we actually start getting a lot more of the story up to this point of Derice. Now, after we left for Rook, we understood that Richthofen wanted to use the team to actually infiltrate, or after we left Shinonuma, um, to infiltrate, you know, multiple different things. They infiltrated Shinonuma not only to gain information about Samantha, where she was located, how to actually kill her, but as well as to gain the Wonder Waffle DG2 so he could access Doris. Now, this is where the story tends to get a lot more speculation. A lot of people think that Richthofen wanted to infiltrate Doris to quote unquote destroy Samantha. That is partially true because. Richthofen at this point knows that Samantha is not located at the Reese. She actually is located at the moon. He did not want to actually infiltrate the Reese for Samantha. He wanted to infiltrate the Reese for the teleporter so he could be teleported back to the moon facility where Samantha is currently being held at so he could destroy her that way. Unfortunately, when he actually ends up getting or getting into the Reese, realizes that there's a lot more zombie essence here than he would have expected and therefore his plans are somewhat foiled as he actually didn't teleport anywhere but teleported to a different part of time so uh, with that his plans were foiled uh, as for the meantime and that's where you see the bridge between world at war and black ops now here we actually get a lot of juicy parts of the story as well as we get introduced to dr ludwig maxis which is um samantha's father as well as we understand exactly how samantha came into power quote unquote as well as where the hellhounds came from now essentially richtofen was always in a sense jealous of Maxis and actually had plans of killing him as well but as we later find out in the story it wasn't all entirely a entire entirely based on jealousy it was also based on Richthofen's own agendas but to some point Richthofen was jealous of Maxis at least for Maxis not letting him explore certain things that he wanted to with the element 115. Um, it came to the point that he wanted to assassinate Maxis and Samantha just kind of ended up being uh, in a sense a byproduct of that so with the radios here located in Doris you start figuring out that essentially Samantha had a puppy named Fluffy and Fluffy was pregnant at the time um, Samantha was really excited to actually have a bunch of puppies Maxis unfortunately though had an alternate motive for bringing Fluffy onto the premises essentially he wanted to use Fluffy for further experiments for the teleportation as well as the mutation, reanimating the dead. You find that all on these radios here. At the point where Maxis finally decides to use Fluffy before she actually has her babies, ends up tele well not necessarily teleporting Fluffy, but actually mutating Fluffy into the hellhounds we see today. The reason why there's so many that pop out is because Fluffy was pregnant at the time, so you see just the babies constantly come at you in constant waves. Now, in the same point after this appeared, Samantha actually barges into the room and is completely terrified the fact that her father would do this. And the dog essentially starts trying to attack Max's and Samantha. They end up running into the teleportation chamber where Dr. or Dr. Richthofen locks them in and teleports them to, as we know, to multiple different areas. Samantha was actually teleported directly to the moon where when she was trying to actually be captured by the scientists that were there ended up running into the MPD device which was a portal to the uh, ether in a sense and that is how she actually be came in control of the zombie hordes the dog in itself was transported into well okay so Samantha was transported to Argotha the dog was transported to the uh, ether and what happened with Max's is actually a little bit confusing it teleported back to the moon when uh, Maxis was actually posed to actually talk to Samantha to try to get her out of the MPD device, he stated that he had come from a tunnel. Now, whether this tunnel would actually have been the same tunnel that Edward Richthofen was in Shangri-La or another tunnel is yet to be known, as well as it is not entirely known as how Maxis actually became transported, at least his spear or his ensis, into electronical devices. Because here, uh, here on out, the only time you ever hear Max's is through direct communications through electronical devices. Um, with speculation, this could be that they possibly put him back into the teleportation devices and he could have been teleported directly into the electricity there. 
Um, with that being said, that is all we know as of right now with the reason, even just a little bit more than that. And there's so many Easter eggs here as far as anything you could look up into it. So if you haven't played the Reese, I recommend doing it sometime soon. But as of right now, guys, I think I'm going to cut it there for now. This has been Generation 71, and hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys later.